They say they are good. Everybody says they are good. But let me tell you something. Without Jesus, without God, you are not good. Even Jesus himself never wanted to be called good. But I hear a lot, many people telling me that they are good. But you know what? You are not good without Jesus. You are not good without God. This is a pre-medication. Giving you Jesus, who came to give you life and life more abundantly, is giving you a pre-medication. So what, so that when the pain comes, you have some something to fall back on. It's like giving you a panadu, it's like giving you a Tylenol in advance before the pain comes. So that when it comes, you just swallow the pain. That's what we are trying to do if I had to explain it in the natural. So we've come to introduce Jesus here. Know that you can make him your Lord and Savior because you are not good without Jesus. Trust me, without Jesus, you have you there's no good in any human being without Jesus. There's no good in any human being without God. Hallelujah. So make it a point today that you do not let this moment of us being here for a couple of hours pass you by. Because every human being you need the higher power and that higher power is god the creator of heaven and earth hallelujah so do not think do not be deceived and say you are good you are not good without jesus trust me i've been there before thinking i was good because i had everything next to me i have food i had car i had a house but let me tell you something there's things you cannot fix with the car with the house with the food with the money you need Jesus for those things. Some things are highly spiritual that you need something spiritual to fix them. Hallelujah. And that spiritual thing that you need Jesus, that spiritual being that you need is Jesus. Make him your Lord and Savior. It is not by chance that we get today. We've been sent from different places, from different, from different uh, states and different countries to tell the people of America, to tell the people of Florida that God loves them. He has a great he has a wonderful plan for your life. Today is your day of salvation. Now is your day of salvation. And I'm only talking right now to those who have never believed, who have never had the gospel, who have never had Jesus being introduced to them as their Lord and Savior, that you need to be born again. You must be born again. It is a must. It is mandatory. It is compulsory. Hallelujah. For someone to be born again. Hallelujah. You must be born again. What you were born of when you were conceived in your mother's womb hallelujah it was of the flesh it came from the passion of the flesh hallelujah but today i'm giving you spiritual food jesus holy spirit and god through me is giving you spiritual food and that spiritual food is jesus he is the only way to the father he is the way he is the truth and he is the life you need the truth trust me you need the way and that is jesus you need the life not what i'm not what you so call life i'm talking about life and life eternal so that when you die one day you will know that you will make it to heaven make jesus christ of nazareth the one who died on the cross rose up again coming back again for you who rose up again who came to give your life and life more abundantly who is alive forevermore hallelujah he is your way maker he is your miracle worker he comes true when you are when you need healing even the doctors that are in the hospitals, they are working in line with God. Think about it, if they were not even in place for them to heal you with the medicine, they are working in line with God. So trust not in that medicine, trust in God. Because the Bible says, blessed is the man who trusts in God and cursed is the man who trusts in man. So today I'm giving you a prescription for free, hallelujah. Because I received this for free that's why i'm giving it to you for free hallelujah today i implore you today i beg you that you come to the knowledge of jesus christ like i said earlier hallelujah that you are not good without jesus you are not good without god i've been hearing a lot of i'm good i'm good i'm good no you are not without jesus without god 
You have no good in you. No human being has any capability of producing good except for producing it through Jesus. You must be born again. You need to be born again. I am not just talking about something that you want just temporarily. You need salvation. You need Jesus. You need him to be your Lord and Savior. Whoever your Lord is, while you are still here on earth, will be your Lord when you die one day. Let me tell you something. Tomorrow is not promised to anybody. Hallelujah. And whosoever calls upon the name of the Lord Jesus, the one who was given to you as a gift, that you may be saved, that you may live in the, according to the ways of the Lord, is not good enough. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, that Lord. You're touching these your precious people right now, God. Let them get the reality of what salvation is. Let them get the reality of what a miracle it is to be saved, to be born again. Oh, let me tell you something. When I, before I was saved, before I was born again, I used to have a demon rising up on the inside of, you, of me, getting irritated, getting so fed up when the gospel is preached. Because I thought I had everything. Because I thought I needed nothing else. But uh, there came a time when you need Jesus. The real love, the real life is Jesus. He promised that he will never leave you. Promised that he will never forsake you. Many will leave you. Many will forsake you. But Jesus will never leave you. I promise you today, if you make that decision, to have Christ as your Lord and Savior today. Your life will change for the good. It will also be transferred unto your children. And the children of your children. Break the curse of no salvation today in your household. In your generation. By having Jesus in your heart as your Lord and Savior. It's not a big deal. Yes, it is a big deal. That we have Jesus. It sounds like it's... it's it, it is a big deal that you have Jesus because really, that's who you need. That's all you need in life. You can have the food. You can eat the strawberries. You can eat all the organic food that you need. Some people have come to find out here in America that people, they even worship organic food. But you know what? That organic food is not going to do anything for you. It's not going to do any good for you if you don't have Jesus in your heart. You can feed your body, your flesh with all that organic food. But without Jesus in your heart, you will not make it. You need Jesus. You must be born again. Being born again is being born of the Spirit. Don't try to work it out how you're going to do that. I am here to pray for you. I have been sent to pray for you that you come to Jesus. Make him your Lord and Savior. He is waiting for you. Heaven rejoices, hallelujah, over just one sinner coming to the knowledge of the Lord Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Make him your Lord today. Right now, I was talking to the sinners, those who have never heard the gospel. Let me quickly switch over to those who know Jesus, to those who claim to know Jesus, that you need to be preaching the gospel. You need to be talking to people about Jesus. In your next door neighbor, on your left and on your right, in your backyard, in your neighborhood, in your ghetto, wherever that you may be living, in your pre prestigious uh, neighborhood, wherever that you may be dwelling, wherever that you may be staying, you must be preaching the gospel. You are depriving these precious people of the good news if you don't tell them about Jesus. You must preach the gospel. You have been sent. The Bible says in the book of Matthew 28, Go ye into the world and make disciples. It also says again in the book of Mark 16, Hallelujah, at the end of Mark 16, Go ye into the world, Hallelujah, and preach the gospel to every creature, healing the sick, Hallelujah, raising the dead, Hallelujah. It is all by the power of God. Remember, Hallelujah, you have the Holy Ghost dwelling on the inside of you. The Bible says, After that, the Holy Ghost came 
came upon them. That was the disciples he was talking to. They were filled with power to be witnesses. Hallelujah. In your area, you talked about Judea and Samaria. But let me tell you something. Your Judea and your Samaria is your workplace, is your neighborhood, is wherever that you may be staying, wherever that you have access to. Hallelujah. You need to be preaching the gospel. If you are a Christian, you believe in the Lord Jesus. He said to Peter, feed my sheep. Hallelujah. He kept asking him, Peter, do you love me? Peter kept saying for like three times, yes, I love you, Lord. He ended up getting irritated. Hallelujah. But let me tell you something. What Jesus actually was implying them, he was saying, if you truly, truly, really, really love me, you must preach, you must feed my sheep. There's many sheep out there. There's many out there who are needing the gospel to be preached to them. And you, Christian, you believe us, you disciple of Christ, you have an obligation, you have a responsibility to preach the gospel. Preach the gospel. The harvest is indeed ripe. Today we are here at the strawberry festival. They are busy uh, harvesting the strawberries. They are busy selling the strawberries. But it's your time, believer, to preach the gospel to your neighbor. It's your time, believer, to preach the gospel wherever that you may be. Wherever God is sending you, you are not alive just to live and eat. The kingdom of God is not eaten, is not food and meat. It is a righteous that's in the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. That's why you have the Holy Ghost to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. You must preach the gospel. People are hungry out there. They are looking for the truth. They are looking for the way. They are looking for life. Jesus is that way. Jesus is that truth. And Jesus is that life. Make, make a, 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 a decision today that yes, I raise my hand to Jesus. Say yes, Jesus, use me. I agree to being used by you. I answer the call of uh, it's not even a call of being in the office of the fivefold ministry but it's a call of saying yes i will preach the gospel it's a call for every believer i'm talking about those who are filled with the spirit of god i'm talking about those who know who say you claim to know jesus as their lord and savior it's your responsibility mama it's your responsibility child to your school it's your responsibility a nursing practitioner in your workplace. You have the way. You are a light. You are a salt of the world. Light of the world. A light cannot be healed in. So do not make that mistake of trying to hide the light. You are shining anyway. But those who are around you, they are wondering, why is this light just hiding under the bird? Hiding, hiding under pornography. Hiding under the things that are not pleasing to God. Go out there and preach the gospel in the name of Jesus. Ma'am, Jesus said you must be healed. You are healed in the name of Jesus. If you want to rise up and walk out of that wheelchair, you can do that by faith. Great, you are healing by faith. Hallelujah. Preach the gospel, believer. Preach the gospel, disciple of Christ. You have been obligated. You have been commissioned. The great commission is not a great omission, but it's a great commission. You must be preaching the gospel to your neighbor. You must be loving your neighbor by preaching the gospel. You must be loving your kids by telling them about Jesus. Love all those that you're supposed to love by preaching the gospel to them. Hallelujah. And if you don't know Jesus, right now I was talking to those who know, who know Jesus, who are not doing what they're supposed to be doing with a loving rebuke that you must preach the gospel and if you don't know jesus as your lord and savior and if you don't know where you're gonna spend eternity one day tomorrow is not promised to anybody you need to raise your hand to jesus you need to raise your heart to jesus and say i accept to christ as my lord and savior repeat and say i believe you died for me i believe you have risen from the dead and i know you're coming back again for me Ask him to fill you with the Holy Spirit that you may be a witness and tell others about Jesus. This Jesus is not a fairy tale. I used to think it was a joke. I used to think it was a fairy tale. Consequently, there was a demon rising up on the inside of me when the gospel was being preached because it was trying to take me away from the truth. Today, you gotta shake off the demon and say, yes, I'm following the truth.
with him. I will accept Christ as my Lord and Savior. Ask him to fill you with his spirit, with his power. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. I give you glory, God. I thank you for this, your precious people, God. Let them come to know you today. Enough is enough for the devil to pray with your life. Are you not tired of the devil praying with your life? Of the devil make you fall into adultery? Of the devil make you fall into fornication? Are you not tired of the devil make you fall coming into prison in and out? Are you not tired of serving gods that are dead? I've served gods that are dead before. I've served ancestors before. Let me tell you something. It did me no good. The Bible is, 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 is against that serving gods that are dead. Whether it's your mother who died or your father that you died they have no part in this earth you need Jesus Jesus who's alive forevermore if you're serving your dead mama if you're serving your dead father if you're serving your grand your dead grandfather it's not good for you God is against idolatry God is against idolatry he wants you to serve him alone he's a jealous God he's a jealous God he loves you so much he wants you to accept you accept him as his Lord and Savior, your Lord and Savior today, make no mistake today. Tomorrow is not promised to you. We all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. The wages of sin is death. The death that leads to lost eternity. But the beautiful thing is that the gift of God is eternal life. That is through Jesus Christ our Lord. And whosoever calls upon the name of the Lord Jesus. That is, whosoever calls upon the name of the Lord Jesus. What did I say? I said, whosoever is for black, is for white, is for Indian, is for Asian, is for green, is for purple. Hallelujah. Is for Africans, is for Americans, is for British. The salvation is for you. The salvation is for everybody. All you have to do is to grab it by faith and accept Christ as your Lord and Savior. He's been long waiting for you. He's been good to you. The goodness of the Lord must lead you to repentance. I'm trying to give you a pre-medicine. I'm trying to give you a medication in advance before trouble comes. The Bible says, seek the Lord while he may still be found. Seek the Lord while he is still, while you are still young. Hallelujah. Raise your children in the ways of the Lord that they may not depart from the ways of the Lord. Hallelujah. When they grow older one day. So you don't want the children to grow older and depart apart from the ways because you never instill this long enough into them so today make it a point that you accept Christ if you do not hear the message make it a point that you read the book of John when you get home you will get an understanding of what I'm talking about and may God bless you I love you that's why I'm preaching the gospel to you and God loves you more hallelujah Amen. Praise the Lord. That was good. That was good. hallelujah if you watch me, <coughs> no, whatever, whatever. I need to be in the name.